Hello friends, it's Farmer Son Prepping again. Uh, so, you're a new prepper and you've got your water and your water filtering situation handled. You have got those items stopped at least two or three different ways to filter water. Your next step is food. Many different ways uh, and I suggest you do both really. Uh, start out with canned goods. You got your spam here. You got your canned chicken breast. Uh, canned meats is a, is a great option. Uh, your uh, band of sausage or, or your potted meats. Those are great options. Have you a couple of have you a couple of weeks supply? I'm going to say six to eight weeks supply of canned goods. Uh, these you can use and make with rice and, and you need to have different options when it comes to your food stores. Canned goods is def definitely I think would be step number one in starting to stack food for preparedness. So. I say you start off with canned goods. You want to have at least six weeks worth of canned goods uh, in your pantry or in your prepper pantry. Now, you have what's your regular pantry and then you have your preparedness pantry. Okay, so you use what's in your regular pantry, your regular rotation pantry, and then when you run out there, you go to your preparedness pantry and pull out another of the same item. Uh, you're always rotating your stock, first in, first out. Uh, so I believe canned goods is the way to start. Uh, you can, uh, if you're on a low income, you can start just buying, you know, two or three extra cans of meat uh, when you go to the store, ever how often that is. Buy you two extra cans. Uh, over time, those two extra cans are gonna come they're going to turn into a flat or, or a case uh, and then if you keep going they'll turn into multiple cases of canned food honey is a good option honey is a forever prep uh, there has been honey found in the Egyptian tombs that were still edible so honey is something you do not have to worry about rotating uh, you can rotate it if you want it probably will keep it fresher but even honey if it turns solid it can be it can still be eaten, okay? It will not hurt you. And usually you can squeeze the package. If it's turned solid, you can squeeze the package enough, it will turn back into regular honey. Uh, that's been my experience with that. All right, nothing wants to work out today. Uh, also, dried goods. This is vacuum sealed rice. I've done my one cup uh, portions here. So, uh, your meats go along with your rices to help you make uh, meals. Um, so, you know, get you a uh, vacuum sealer uh, and get you some uh, O2 absorbers and make you some rice, uh, vacuum seal you some rice and beans and other dry goods, uh, sugar, staples, things that you use constantly in your kitchen. Uh, vacuum, vacuum seal them, I believe that's the way to go. You can also do the Mylar bags in the five gallon buckets as well. You can look up videos on that. These are chicken with herbs and spices, bouillon cubes, okay? So bouillon cubes, you can flavor the rice with it. Have some beef, have some chicken, have some different flavored bouillon cubes. You can flavor your rice, it make it taste like chicken or taste like beef or what have you, or pork or whatever. Uh, so you can combine your canned meats with your rice and your beans uh, and have a more complete, more filling meal. Now once you feel like you've got six or eight weeks of canned goods stocked up, uh, or maybe even a, a couple of months worth, I've got a couple of months worth of canned goods, so uh, you can turn to freeze dried foods. Uh, a couple of different options here. You have the uh, free, freeze-dried adventure meals. Uh, these are Mountain House, but there's several different companies that make adventure meals. Uh, I believe I have some of these. I have some of the uh, Four Patriots, I believe. 
and some different types of uh, adventure meals. These are for on the go. These you put them in your pack, you know, or your bug out bag. We haven't got to that yet, but we will. But you can put these, uh, these are on the go. All you do is boil water and put them in the pouch. First, take the O2 absorber out first. Boil your water, put these in the pouch and zip them back up and let them sit for a while. And about 10 or 15 minutes later, you have some good wholesome food to eat if you're out on the trail or at work or whatever. These are not cheap, so start with canned goods first. Also, you can go with the number 10 can. Uh, this is Augustin Farms. You're going to want to think about, um, unless, you're, unless you have space to do homesteading, you want to think about um, eggs and powdered eggs and powdered milk things that your family is going to need. Uh, if you have the land, uh, start homesteading. Get you some chickens. Get you a couple of goats to milk or a couple of cows to milk, whatever how you want to do it. Uh, but if you can't do that, these number 10 cans, this is one pound and one ounce of food. Two pounds, one ounce of food, my bad. Two pounds, one ounce of the food. Uh, you add water to this, it, the directions are on the back. Uh, you add water to your egg powder, uh, warm water, and then you cook them like you would cook regular eggs. It reconstitutes the eggs, and then you cook them like you would in a frying pan, scrambled or fried, whatever. Uh, this is uh, Nutrient Survival. Now also, I believe in having different brands, because you're going to get tired of eating the same stuff all the time. So different brands, mix it up a little bit. Don't just stock everything August and Farms. Change it up. Do some nutrient survival. Do some uh, ready wise. Do some whatever, you know, change it up a little bit. I, I believe you should have different types of freeze dried food, okay? Different menus, uh, different flavors, different companies, different flavors. So uh, this is Southwestern Medley. This is uh, nutrient survival. Um, so yeah, your number 10 cans. Uh, once you have your canned goods, of course, you've already got your water and your water filters. You've already got that stock. That was step number one. This is New Preppers, step number two, food storage or food, uh, food preparedness. So what you'd want to do is start off with canned goods and get you a, a couple of months worth of canned goods. Uh, then go to your dry goods to get you some, some rice, some beans. I don't have any beans out here to show you. Uh, but uh, get you a back suitor. Back suitor, you some rice and some beans. Uh, then you can go to your number 10 cans or your freeze dried adventure meal. Another way of storing some food is the emergency ration bars. This is uh, 2,400 calories. This has a five year shelf life. And this is just another option for storing food. This is more like emergency food. Uh, you can put this on the shelf. It will last up to, sorry for the wind, y'all. You can put this on the shelf, and it will last up to five years. Uh, this is apple cinnamon flavor. Get whatever flavor you like. Uh, these uh, were started off using, uh, military used these in uh, lifeboat. These were lifeboat rations. So... There are many different options. You can do MREs. MREs are expensive. MREs only last five years also. So, typically, your number 10 cans. Let's see what the expiration date on this is. Typically, your number 10 cans last at least 10 years on the shelf. Some are more. Um, these freeze dried. These are in foil packs. I don't know if you can see the foil on the back there. These are in Mylar as well. Uh, the, this one right here is good for uh, good till December 2034. No, 2050. December 2050. This is good until 2050. So these have a long shelf life as well. Uh, I hope it helps. Remember, if you're a new prepper, new to preparedness, uh, I know folks are waking up every day, uh, so get your canned goods supply first. Then you can focus on your dry goods, your sugar, your rice, and your beans. You know, make sure you've got protein in there. 
Uh, peanut butter is a good option to store, or even powdered peanut butter. So, and then you can go to the freeze-dried foods, uh, which is this right here. And you can throw in some of these, you know, change it up, keep it all, keep it all uh, different. Have a good mix of different types of food. Uh, and don't forget food for your pets. Uh, I see that because my dog is standing over there. Uh, so don't forget to have food stored for your pets as well. Um, drinks. Have drink mixes. You're going to get tired of drinking just water all the time. So don't forget to stock you some drink mixes. Whatever type. Crystal light. Whatever, whatever your favorite is. Stock you some drink mixes. Gatorade powder. Whatever. This is Farmer Son Prepping. I appreciate you watching. And this is new prepare new preppers food thanks for watching